we're going to honor those young people that were killed in Chapel Hill. I'm going to honor them with a prayer. So I want to ask people to come in before we do anything. We released this today and written we respect all of God's people. Our hearts ache today for the parents, the loved ones, and the friends of Yahshua, Abu, and Dia. I turn to my, our holy book, the book of Job, to find words to describe the feelings about the hate murders of our Muslim sisters and brothers. And what perhaps are the feelings of all people of conscience that love and respect all humanity. Job 3 says, instead of bread, I get grown for myself. Then leave the table and vomit my anger. The worst of my fears has come true. What I've dreaded most has happened. My repose is shattered, my peace destroyed. No rest for me ever, death has invaded life. Lord, we acknowledge today that the worst of our fears have come. The fear we have when some insist on labeling all Muslims as evil, creating the insane atmosphere that triggers the hate of so many. The fear of what can happen in a society when some are more interested in making sure people carry guns rather than carry love in their heart one for another. Yes. The fear of what can happen when students write to pray publicly is challenged even by those claiming to be faith leaders. As though somehow the prayers of students will contaminate our purity threaten our own faith. God, the worst of our fears have come true. And now the question is, will these murders scare us straight? Will these murders of hate transform our fears into love? Will our fears make us love God more than we love guns? Will our fears make us look at people through the eyes of our hearts? Or will we remain groveling in the distorted stare and state of hate? Lord, we pray today in hope that we will look to the youth and how they are leading us in this place. That we will see them praying together, see them crying together, see them loving together. Muslims, Christians, Hindus, Jews, Buddhists. Youthful believers, non-believers, but deeply moral and youthful seekers of some faith. And how they are doing that to get them through the insanity yes. of hate and violence that invades our world too often. Yes. Our children have turned to each other rather than on each other. Yes. We hear them calling for love and not revenge. They turn to love and not hate. Will we follow them? Let us pray that we will, because only perfect love can cast out the pain and the hurt when that which we fear the most has come upon us. Amen. Amen. Amen.